I read Muhammad, uh, Muhammad al ajamis poem from a prison cell. Is it my mind or my heart that I've lost to you, Arab lands, home of enemies? If you held our minds with law and reason, if you respected our opinions, then you'd hold my heart as well. Who am I? Don't ask the days about me. I'm nothing but a prisoner in an isolation cell. Here in my country, oppression is what takes our rights away. Here, ignorance determines our convictions. Here, the people no longer have a voice, cannot spell out the language of reproach. My country, if insight required an apology, I'd never stop apologizing. Tell your children, east and west, and keep telling them until the birds sing it in the, ben in the branches, that the people without opinions is nothing but a herd that's thirsty, yet blind to the nearby oasis. Fight for your convictions. This is how you ride your steeds and bear your arms against a ruler who seeks to oppress and who molds your silence into a pretext for injustice. Tell them that I, stubborn, persistent, was unmatched in my victory and my defeat. Time may have disgraced me, but I haven't been easy for time to shackle. Lord of Rabble, what of yours compares to the thrones of Ibn Ad's people in Iran, the city of pillars, which God spoke of in his revelation? You've been insincere, a false prophet on earth, though you, like Jesus, spoke in the crib. You've wounded truth, and my proud allegiance is lifeless now, and clad in black. How can you expect obedience when you call for injustice? If we obeyed you, then what would become of our principles? When we pray, who do we pray to? To God or to God's servants? There's no room for virtue under oppression. There's no room for vice on the road of justice. Whoever wrongs and deceives his people will never be able to guide them. If history were objective, it would tell how you've sought glory in my so-called enmity. Go ahead and be miserable, though you and I are not enemies. I avoid enmity and make enemies only of those who are truly worthy. If you ask after my finest day, on an occasion when words of pride are called for, I'd call history to mind and say, it was when I was a prisoner in my own country. For when you shackled my wrists, history gave me strength and confidence in victory. These disgraceful chains are power in my hands, not power for those who lord it over me. Doors and guards, wake me up gently whenever I sleep too long. It is not desire, but fear that makes me ask this. Fear that the enemies will see my weakness when I sleep, though I no longer know if my eyes are closed or if I've been awake all this time.